Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our third and final section of today's nutrition seminar here in San Jose. I, we were talking about bioterrain analysis. There's a section on my website, it's called Level 2. There's a button called Level 2. Press the button, that says Level 2. It's password protected. The password is intent. When you type in intent, it's going to take you to a chapter called Bioterrain Analysis, and it's going to talk about the history of this of this technique. I'm, I'm one of the few people who do it correctly anywhere, which is a lament more than that I'm bragging, because I was taught by Stan Bynum. Now the way that we were taught that's different from everyone else is, first of all, you have this microscope, you've seen it, right? You have this microscope that is, um, it's hooked up with a camera and the camera goes into a screen, right? Now we're going to take, on a fasting sample, we're going to take one drop of blood from your finger, right? And we're going to put it on the microscope and then we're going to videotape it. Now the difference is that Bynum taught us after you tape the first sample, then you're going to give the person an enzyme and an antioxidant and drink water and, the, and wait 30 minutes and you're going to do an after test. That's the difference between this kind of biotrain analysis. So I'm going to show you right now a typical before and after test. These people that I was just on the cruise in the Mediterranean, they attended my lecture and Dr. Bergman's lecture uh, in the Mediterranean two weeks ago. I was testing one of them and she, she seems pretty healthy. She doesn't have any overt diseases. Has a very high stress job. She doesn't sleep very well. Her diet is not that bad, but we're going to look and see some real problems in these cells. So this is the before test. I'm going to show you this right now. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Certainly delighted to be here this morning. I want to show you a brief before and after of the live cell test that I've been doing in the exhibit hall. Now, this is, this is a before test. This is one drop of blood taken from the five liters of blood in your body. So we infer that is a representative of your internal milieu, right? So here is a typical person who has some imbalances. That's what we're trained to look for, imbalances. This is not a way to diagnose disease. In this particular case, we see two problems that most people who do not have sufficient enzymes. A, a couple problems that most people have. The first one is aggregation of the, of the red cells. Aggregation of the red cells. They're stuck together. They're, they're too bundled up. They're too tightly bound. And that's called red cell aggregation or rouleau formation. Now the problem with that is that your capillaries, which are the smallest blood vessels of all, our, the inside diameter of them is only the same as one blood cell. So nature designed our blood cells to go through our capillaries single file. When our blood cells are all clumped up like this in bundles, the, the heart has to shoehorn these huge aggregations of red blood cells through your arterial system all, all the time, increasing the load to the heart, number one, but worse than that, decreasing the total oxygen delivery to the cells of your body. This is only, the only way the cells of your body get oxygen on a second-by-second -second basis. The second thing wrong with this person, uh, which is, again, epidemic in our society, is free radical damage. Uh, so the short version of this is we can observe free radical damage to the cell membranes of like 90% of this person's red cells by this lumps and bumps appearance on the external uh, cell membrane. So, as you know, if any of you have had the blood test yesterday, I gave you an enzyme and an antioxidant, right? And then we waited 30 minutes, you drank water, you walked around, and 95% of you had, a, had an after test like like the next one that I'm going to show you here and and that's typical about 95 percent of the time here is the result so all you took was two little enzyme capsules that had a global change in all the five liters of blood in your body first thing is the enzymes are what separates the red cells do you see that and now they are normal 
now they can really go through the capillaries single file. We have just exponentially increased oxygen delivery to this person's body. It will last about four or five hours. Second thing here is by just taking these two little antioxidant capsules, we have neutralized all free radicals in this person's blood for about four or five hours. That has stopped the second by second bombardment of the cell membrane by the free radicals. So in this detox program, it's, it's not so many things you have to intellectually believe that you're being detoxed. In this particular program, we can see it with our own two eyes. You can observe it, and, and it's amazing that this global change takes place in just 30 minutes. So this is, this is not a, some special example. This is, this is typical. Um, the majority of people that I tested yesterday are, are like the majority of people that I test all over the world. With one exception, the people here in Minnesota, you people are much, much healthier than California people. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. So that's a whole other discussion, right? When there are millions of free radicals bombarding the cell membrane at all times, this causes the cell membrane to crinkle up, as it were, and to get this lumps and bumps appearance in order, it's, it's protecting itself. That's the, the indication of protecting itself against free radical bombardment. So, in, now, red cells only live 120 days, so it's normal in the normal person for 5% or less of the red blood cells on any slide to be damaged because, you know, they're dying. But this person who, who is high stressed, has huge amounts of free radicals, excess amounts of free radicals, we're looking at 100% free radical damage. So, like I say, this person has no overt disease, but you are sick on the inside for a, a very long time, usually before diseases actually become diagnosable and manifest themselves. You don't just suddenly you know, get diabetes or get cancer one day. It's been happening in your body for a long, long time because you've, you've ignored the symptoms. So I gotta tell you this story for a minute. When I first, when I first saw this back in the, in the 90s with Bynum, I said, well, Dr. Bynum, I go, these red cells are completely damaged. They're all free, free radical damage. Th that means they're, they're defective for good. You can't fix that. And he said, no, you can. By neutralizing all the free radicals in the blood, in the person's body, you can stop the bombardment of the cell membrane. It will relax to its original round, smooth conformation. I didn't believe that until after we did a few hundred of these <laughs> blood samples and you see it over and over and over and we're seeing it here it's now it's like zero percent this is very dramatic but you know it's common it happens all the time now you'll see no free radicals and free radical damage rather almost none but look at how 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 round and smooth these red blood cells are and now also the activity of the enzyme has released the, the, the red blood cells you see how separate they are the clumping is gone now we have geometrically increased the total surface area available to bind oxygen now we have so we have exponentially increased oxygen delivery to this person's cells it, it will last about four or five hours every time you take the enzymes and the antioxidants. So if you do this three times a day for 60 days, your blood is going to look like this all day, every day for 60 days. And this changes people's lives.